Welcome. Today we're going to take a look at Craft and its Readwise integration because it has one, and that's nice uh, for you to import your book bookmarks books into Craft. Before we do that, a few ways to support the channel. Number one, become a member, curtismichael.ca slash membership. Number two, take a course, curtismichael.ca slash education. And members get my courses included with membership fee. So buckle up, let's look at Craft. Uh, I was going to say Craft and Obsidian, but I mean Craft and Readwise integration. So we can find our Readwise integration on uh, GitHub. And if we go over to releases right here, we can go to this and we would just download Craft 42 Readwise uh, .craft x file. This is by TFT Hacker, who is a fairly uh, prominent member in uh, the, uh, I guess, PKM community anyways. We go to our X menu, plus, and then we just find the file we downloaded. I don't have it downloaded because I already have it installed, which you can see right here, Readwise Highlights. So there's two things that happen when you first uh, click on Readwise Highlights. For me, you can see it's going to load my books, but for you to start, it's actually going to give you two things. It's going to say, what's your API token? So all you have to do is click on this link right here, and it'll take you to Readwise for your API token, which you copy out and paste in the craft um, box there, and then hit go. It takes a few seconds to load, especially the first time, and then you get your highlights showing up right here. Uh, if you need to refresh them, you can refresh. So let's start by importing uh, Ikigai. So it has now imported Ikigai, and one valuable comparison here will actually be with my Obsidian import uh, of Readwise. So this is what it looks like in Obsidian, and one of the nice things it does with Readwise integration, it actually gives me headings here, uh, right there, right? It gives me headings for the chapters, and because I highlighted them and used dot uh, h2 or h3, I guess, in them. So you can see that right here, prolog Ikigai, and it says notes dot h1. So one thing that the craft integration doesn't do is give you the actual headings here. So you'd have to go back in and make that yourself, right? So you can see prolog. Uh, it actually turns into an H3, but it's highlighted anyway, so that's fine. Um, it also gives you links here. So if I click on this link, it'll open up Readwise, and that'll open up my Kindle, actually, the app on my Mac, um, and show me where the highlight actually is in context. So this is nice. Um, that we get these things, right? Logotherapy is already in there, Ikigai. Now, I think over here, I'm pretty sure that I actually started Logotherapy with double quotes around it, although I don't remember for sure. No, I didn't. <clears throat> so community, this would be a note. Um, and in my system right here with Obsidian, it would actually link already to the community note, but it does not link here. So I'd actually have to come in here and say at community, and now I have linked this to my community note. So the nice thing about this is that I get all of my uh, notes in here, but I don't get stuff like this, right? So this dot purpose will actually tag in Readwise as purpose and show me a tag in Obsidian as purpose as well. That doesn't happen here. Not, not an ender, but still just something to know the differences between the setups. I'm not actually sure if TFT Hacker can add this as an option either based on the Readwise API. So what else can you do here? So this is Ikigai, it's only Ikigai, um, but I could actually come down here, scroll to the bottom, really scroll to anywhere, and enter a couple times, and I can import a second book if I wanted. Let's import, uh, I don't even know, some other book, uh, Play DHD. So I just imported it below, that's fine. I think I would actually create a new note for each book and then import the note manually in, or the book in manually into the uh, note for that book. I wouldn't actually do it this way. Another interesting thing you can do, if I delete all of these, is hit the magic eight ball. So we come back in, we'll hit the magic eight ball, and this is going to pull in a random uh, quote for me from a random book. This takes a little bit. You can see it's Reclaiming Conversation, The Power of Talking the Digital Age. It's linked to New Better Off uh, by Courtney E. Martin. Um, and this is even something you could use as a writing prompt. So that's nice if you want writing prompts out of your uh, reading that you've done. Now, overall, what I like about this is that you have to be intentional about it. It's easy to read with Obsidian and the Readwise integration and just have things come in automatically and you don't even really think about it. You just have them come in and you're like, totally filed. I've done everything with it. And they haven't, you haven't actually done anything with it because you haven't processed them. So with the Craft Readwise integration, you actually have to take the time to process it, which is likely better long-term for you. So I like that part about it. 
It would also be nice if it synced. It would be nice if it had the tags that Readwise supports, but it doesn't currently. I'm not sure if that can happen. But overall, if you are on craft, if you're reading books on Kindle, if you're highlighting using the Readwise service, which I do recommend, there'll be a link below and that's going to be an affiliate link. Um, I use it and I think it's useful and the craft integration is totally useful for you so that you can start getting your books in there and then start processing your uh, notes on those books properly and build your Zettelkasten system. If you like the video, I guess give me a thumbs up, bell, all that stuff YouTube's supposed to do. But honestly, keep your notifications off, go read books, go hang out with your kids, stuff like that. If you want to support the channel, become a member, curtismichael.ca slash membership, or uh, take a course, curtismichael.ca slash education. If you're already on Skillshare, links to all my courses are below. Uh, my Getting Started with Zettelkasten course uses Craft, uh, if you want to dig into that. And I'm also working on a comprehensive craft course for beginners. Have an excellent day.